Hello, my name is Lauren Errington. I'm Head of Department here at Maynooth English. In today's presentation, my colleague and I will give you an overview of what studying English at university is like. We'll talk to you about the skills that you'll gain, show you how you can continue with English through the course of your degree, and talk about the ways that an arts degree can prepare you for continuing your career after university. First, I'll hand over to my colleague Sinead Kennedy, who teaches on the core of our first year programme. I'd like to begin by telling you a little bit about what you can expect to learn um, by studying English here um, at Maynooth. So the Maynooth English degree um, is designed to give you uh, the particular skills that you're going to need to read and understand and to write about a wide range um, of, uh, of different literary forms, including essays, plays, novels, uh, poetry. We're going to teach you how to understand uh, these texts, both critically and analytically, and to develop skills that you already have, um, but I suppose to allow you to develop those, uh, those skills in more detail things like close reading, and also perhaps to introduce you to something that you may be less familiar with, and that is the idea of literary theory. So how do we develop um, a comprehensive and detailed reading of a literary text? That's not um, something that we automatically know how to do. It's something that we need to learn and develop. And that's what we want to teach you how to do um, over, your, uh, over your time with us here. We want to encourage you to, um, uh, to open up, I suppose, to um, understand literary texts in different ways. To, uh, I suppose, to maybe move away from the idea that a literary text has a single meaning and to open up um, a, a range of different readings of the same texts. To encourage you to think about how texts are produced, um, um, how they are products of different times, places and traditions, and also maybe to understand how texts themselves, how literature also has an impact on the culture um, in which um, it is either read or produced. In deciding to study English um, at Maynooth, you have two options. One is you can decide to study English as a single subject. That means you take 15 credits in English or two modules, one module in each semester. You'll take in the first semester, you'll take EN 101, Foundational English 1, Prose and Fiction. Uh, with that module, you'll have two lectures per week and two tutorials. So two lectures in which you meet as a group and two tutorials, uh, which, are, which is where you'll meet in smaller groups of between 15 and 20, and you'll meet with an individual, uh, an individual tutor. In the second semester, you'll take the second of our core modules, Foundational English 2, uh, focusing on poetry and drama. And there you'll have two lectures um, where you meet together as a large group and one tutorial per week. You'll, um, you'll have, uh, each module is worth 7.5 credits and that will give you 15 credits um, in English. You have another option if you decide that you're really interested in English and you'd like the option of studying English in more, uh, in more detail. You can choose to take English as a double subject. Um, that way you'll take 30 credits of English, you'll take four modules, two modules in each semester. You'll take the, the, the two core modules, EN 101 and EN 102, but in addition you'll do two other modules. In the first semester you'll take EN 106, Cli-Fi, Climate Crisis and the Literary Imagination, and there you'll have one lecture uh, per week and one small group uh, tutorial. 
In the second semester, you'll take a module called Literature, Criticism and Power, and you'll again have one lecture and one small group tutorial per week. So the option, how you decide to study English is entirely, uh, is entirely up to you. Uh, whatever option you take, English as a single subject, English as a double subject, you will uh, get the foundation and the skills that you need to continue taking English into uh, second and third year if that's what you decide to do. It all depends, I suppose, on uh, what, uh, how, much, uh, how much English you'd like to take in first year and perhaps it might uh, depend on the other subjects you uh, might be interested in choosing. If you choose to take English as a single subject, in the first semester you would take Prose and Fiction, taught by Dr. Una Frawley, who is also our first year coordinator, and Dr. Sinead Kennedy, who you see here in the upper right hand corner. And in the second semester, you would take Poetry and Drama, taught by Dr. Carl O'Hanlon and myself, who you see here in the bottom left hand corner. If you choose to take English as a double subject, you would also take Cli-Fi in the first term, uh, taught by Dr. Stephen O'Neill here in the upper right corner, and you would take Literature, Criticism and Power, taught by Dr. Michael Cronin, who you see here in the bottom right. So now I'd like to talk you through um, in a little bit more detail uh, what you can expect to study um, on each of the modules uh, that you'll be taking this year. Uh, so regardless of whether you're choosing English as a single or a double subject, you're going to be taking EN 101, which is a foundational module focusing on prose and fiction. And we'll be introducing you to a variety of, uh, of different texts. We'll be looking at speeches by Martin Luther King and Barack Obama, among others, essays by Mary Wollstonecraft and George Orwell. We'll focus on the novel Pride and Prejudice, uh, written by Jane Austen. And we'll look at a number of short stories uh, from writers uh, in Ireland, James Joyce, New Zealand, Catherine Mansfield, Russia, Anton Chekhov, and Nigeria, Shiamanda Adichie. In this module, we'll pay particular attention to how texts engage with important historical, social, moral, and political questions you'll be uh, encouraged to actively engage with the things that you're reading uh, through discussion and writing. And this is where your, your, um, your, your, your tutorials will play uh, a very important part. Um, you will have tutorial, in, in addition to the two lectures you'll have every week, you'll have two tutorials each week. And there you'll be meeting in a small group with a tutor um, who will help you work through the things that you're learning in lectures. So you won't be just left on your own. Um, we, will, uh, we will give you a great deal uh, of help and support um, as you kind of transition to studying English uh, at, uh, at university. We'll make sure that you have the subject specific skills to develop and to express well-informed ideas uh, and opinions about what you are what you are reading. We put a lot of emphasis on writing, on teaching you how to write and how to write well. We'll teach you how to write an essay uh, uh, for university. Um, and in order to do that, we'll encourage you to write um, on a weekly basis and to get feedback. Um, so it's about, in, uh, it's about encouraging you to learn the techniques uh, that, you, uh, uh, that you will need um, to, um, uh, to, write, to write well and to express your ideas well. In EN 102, the second core module, this is a second semester module, uh, we'll shift our focus away from prose and fiction and focus now on poetry and drama. So this module is designed to reinforce and to develop the reading and writing skills that you learned in the first semester, um, but to take them up a notch um, and um, to introduce you uh, to a new, uh, uh, a new range of literary forms, this time by focusing on poetry and drama. So we'll be looking at the spe specific techniques that are associated with writing um, in dramatic form and in poetic form. 
Some of the te texts that you will focus on include versions of Sophocles' Antigone, uh, Tennessee Williams' A Streetcar Named uh, name Desire, and Brendan Behan's The Queer Fellow. You'll also be looking at a selection of poetry by poets such as uh, John Milton, uh, the great African-American poet Langston Hughes, and Irish writers like W.B. Yeats and Maeve McGuckian. If you decide to do uh, English as a double subject, you'll take two additional modules, one in each semester. Um, these modules will give you the opportunity to study English in a more focused and detailed uh, manner um, and uh, by um, encouraging you uh, to engage uh, with literature uh, through some uh, uh, themes. The, the theme for the first semester module uh, is the climate crisis. So cli-fi, climate crisis and the literary imagination. In this module, you'll examine how writers and artists represent the climate crisis. We'll think about um, how writers engage us uh, imaginatively and ethically um, with an emphasis um, on our individual and collective responsibilities to address the climate crisis that we're living through. Uh, we'll, be doing, we'll be thinking about these questions through a range of essays, short stories and, uh, and poems, including uh, the poet Cathy uh, Dental Kigner's Tell Them, which was delivered at the UN uh, Climate Summit in 2014, the spoken word um, artist Prince, Prince Ia, uh, Dear Future Generations, Sorry, and through two novels, one by James Bradley's Clad and uh, Charlotte uh, McConaughey's Migrations. The second um, additional English module for those of you taking English as a, as a, uh, as a double subject um, focuses on the question of literature and power. This is Ian 107, Literature, Criticism and Power. It's a second semester module. In this module, we'll look at the relationship between literary texts and vectors of power in uh, modern society. There will be an emphasis um, on relations of class, race and gender. The particular focus of this module will be on literary criticism. We'll be looking at how in over the course in particular uh, the 20, in the 20th century, how criticism developed significant tools to ask um, important searching questions about the nature of power. And particular dominant forms of literary criticism emerged to examine these relations um, of class, race and gender. So Marxist, uh, post-colonial and feminist. And we'll be looking at some of the, uh, the, uh, the ideological uh, uh, ideas that are present in these novels and to look at how uh, literature engages with political questions of power. The novels that you'll be looking at um, include Sylvia Platt's The Bell Jar, uh, Anduti Roy, the Indian writer, The God of Small Things, and E.M. Foster's A Passage to India. If you'd like to learn more about first year English, please reach out to me at the email address here. You can also reach out to my colleague, Dr. Kennedy, who's also our Maynooth Access Program Coordinator. So if you're interested in coming to English to the Arts degree via the Access Program, Dr. Kennedy is your first port of call in the department. You can also get in touch with Dr. Una Frawley when she returns from research leave in the summer of 2022, and she'll be glad to welcome you to the department next autumn. Finally, I'll hand over to my colleague, Dr. Kennedy, who will give you an overview of what English at second and third year would involve, the scope of our program after the first year foundation, and then I'll come back to you with some uh, ideas about where the arts degree can take you after university. Finally, I'd just like to conclude by just giving you a brief overview of what you can expect 
if you decide, as we hope you will, to continue on studying English in second and in third year. Um, so in first year, uh, we basically tell you uh, the modules that you have to uh, that you have to take. First year is, a, is designed to give you the foundation and the skills that you need to study English in a more specialised and literature in a more specialised way. When you move on to second year, we try to um, introduce an element of choice. So we give you uh, the option uh, uh, to select that uh, to select some of the modules that you want to study. In each year, there are core modules, modules that everybody takes, but there are a number of optional modules as well. So you can begin to focus on the things that you find most engaging and most interesting. Some of those modules in second and third year include literatures of place, film and screen studies, early modern literature, modernism, American literature, stories of women in Africa and the diaspora, environmental catastrophe, Shakespeare across media, global Arab migrant literature and writing Ireland. There's also an option to take modules in creative writing and to work with one of our uh, writers in residence. Um, how you decide to continue on um, uh, in English, there are a number of options available to you. You can do English as a single major in which you can do your entire degree in English. Or you can do a major where you take most of your modules in English and you take a minor in another subject like history or sociology or geography. Or you can do a double major uh, in which you take half uh, your degree in English and half in a second subject. Or you can do English as a minor, in which you take the majority of your modules in another subject and take English as a minor, where you just do a small part of your degree in English. It is entirely up to you how you decide uh, to, um, uh, to continue. There's also the option, um, uh, regardless of, uh, 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 of what type of degree you take, in taking an elective course outside your degree subject. So you can take an elective in, uh, in sociology, an elective in history, an elective in business, uh, uh, an elective in gender studies. There's a wide, a wide range of options available to you. So thank you for taking the time to listen um, uh, today. And I look forward um, to meeting uh, you all in person very soon. Some of our graduates from Maynooth English go directly into postgraduate study. Others go directly to work in careers as diverse as the public sector, education, journalism and media, sales and marketing, or customer service. The in-depth communication and analytical skills that you learn in the English degree are invaluable to employers. Here at Maynooth, as you move through your degree, we're here to support you in whatever pathway you choose to take, giving you the skills that you need to succeed after university. Please get in touch with any questions you have about studying English at first year or beyond. We're looking forward to getting to know you.